I know the court of public opinion moves fast. I've instructed my attorneys to ensure that these allegations are addressed where they should be in the court of law. It's not my values. It's not how I raised. It's not who I am. Patrick, do, Patrick, 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 Patrick. do you think you'll survive this Me Too movement? Do you think you'll be able to survive it? Patrick Brown got one thing right. The court of a public opinion does move quickly, perhaps even faster when politics are involved. I'm Adrian Gobriel. Now, most, if not everyone, agree that it's important that these women's voices are heard, that they are taken seriously, though it's also important to note that tonight these are just allegations, claims with no criminal charges attached to them. Though that hasn't stopped Premier Kathleen Wynne, according to some, from going straight for Brown's jugular. Last night, she tweeted out, it's a difficult and brave thing to do to come forward in the way these young women have done tonight. My government and I have been clear on the issue of sexual harassment and assault. In fact, our policy and our ad were called, it's never okay. It's important to note, Brown hasn't been charged with sexual assault, as the tweet alludes to. Her official stance has caught the attention of some legal experts, though today at her press conference, Wynne changed her tune ever so slightly. Are you in any way concerned that there's a bit of a, 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 a public sort of trial going on, and is that fair? There will always be due process, and there should be due process, and there is a legal process that, that has to be part of this. But the fact is that we are dealing in, in many of these situations with young people, it's often young people and sometimes not so young people, who have... Who have been in a situation where they have been victimized. With the Premier's statement last night, it appears she kind of went right at Patrick Brown. Are, are these defamatory? Potentially, because this, these are just allegations at this time. It's, I, I would say at this stage it's not until we have a determination as to the veracity of the allegation. But Patrick Brown, like any other individual who's been accused of some type of sexual misconduct, would deserve their day in court or at least an opportunity to test the allegations. People need to be careful what kind of things they throw online, especially colleagues well, and other politicians. Absolutely. A anything we say online, it stays on the Internet and it's there and it can be devastating to people. When asked about Wynne's comments today, the PC party members we spoke with declined to comment. As for NDP provincial leader Andrea Horash, she says that she stands with these women. Her thoughts and her heart are with them, though Patrick Brown, according to Horath, does deserve his day in court if criminal charges are ever laid. But when it comes to her thoughts on our justice system, Horath didn't hold back today. I really have two words about the justice system, Gian Gomeshi. Okay, like, let's face it. The justice system is failing women. It is. And that's the reality. And that's why lots of women don't come forward, especially when it, it, it uh, relates to workplace issues.